Azam, I heard that our village is prone to tsunami. What do you think our community can do to be prepared for this threat? There must be risk reduction efforts that we can do. Hmm, I heard the National Tsunami Warning Center is promoting a tsunami-ready program developed by the Intergovernmental Oceanographic Commission of UNESCO. Surely we can get more information on tsunami preparedness there. Maybe they can advise us on what we can do. Shall we go to their office? Yes, what are we waiting for? Let's go now. Good afternoon, sir. We are from Nami Village. We would like to get some information about the Tsunami Ready program. Here's the thing, sir. Our group wants to raise our community awareness on the importance of building tsunami preparedness. We heard that there is a UNESCO IOC Tsunami Ready program. We would like to know more about Tsunami Ready and if we can participate in this program. This is great. Thank you for your interest. Let me explain what Tsunami Ready is. The Tsunami Ready program is part of a comprehensive approach to supporting the end-to-end -end tsunami early warning system. Tsunami Ready is part of the downstream part of the system in building coastal community awareness and preparedness, focusing on assessment, preparedness, and response to a tsunami threat. Tsunami Ready is very important. We all know that a community that is not tsunami prepared will have higher loss of lives and economic loss. We also know that there can be technological problems during an earthquake and tsunami event. So there is a possibility that the early warning might not even reach the community in a timely way, such as due to a power or communication outage. So it is crucial for all of you to build community preparedness to ensure that the people know and can accordingly react to warnings or natural signs to save their lives if a disaster strikes. Under the coordination of UNESCO or IOC, Experts agree that there are at least 12 indicators that a community needs to fulfill to be ready for a tsunami event. There are a lot of benefits that can be taken from the Tsunami Ready program, among others. If a community is tsunami ready, their preparedness capacity can also be used for threats from other disasters. By working on being tsunami ready, the community will follow a structured and proven approach that must be sustained and you will also build strong community networks. This program is based on the community's performance in building tsunami preparedness, though a collaboration between the community, local participants, the Tsunami Early Warning Center, local and national disaster management agencies. Yet the challenge is for the community to take responsibility for itself by taking ownership of this program and implementing it itself. I see, I understand now. I was told that a community that has already implemented this program will be acknowledged nationally and internationally. Is that correct? Yes, it will. A community who has fulfilled the 12 indicators can get a special recognition from the national government or the Intergovernmental Oceanographic Commission, or UNESCO. However, having this recognition means the community will also have to take some responsibilities, such as maintaining the tsunami preparedness level that has been built so that it can be sustained. Ensuring the warning systems and procedures are always vigilant. Each of the tsunami ready indicators also need to be maintained and managed. So the community should have an annual plan and report on their activities. It is important to note that the tsunami ready recognition does not guarantee or promise a community can or will perform at a certain level in case of tsunami. It also does not mean that a community is tsunami proof. It recognizes that the community has built their capacity and implemented measures in accordance with the agreed indicators and that they will continue to maintain and ensure the sustainability of this preparedness level to have a better chance of surviving a tsunami. This is very interesting. Could you kindly elaborate on the steps required to initiate the tsunami ready program in our village? Where should we start? There are several steps that you could do. First and most importantly, you should get the agreement of the community and all stakeholders to make sure they are supporting and committed to building tsunami preparedness. There should be a team in the community that is willing to be the driver or champion to implement the program. The team should understand all the indicators. However, not all the indicators can be met by the community themselves. So second, 
the team should build collaboration with different institutions to get technical expertise and other kinds of support. And third, is to ensure the community has the stamina and the required resources, as building tsunami-ready capacity is a process that takes time. If the entire 12 indicators have been met and ready, then the community can propose to get a national or international recognition for their accomplishment. I'm sure that our community can implement this program. Isn't that right? Of, of course. course! Thank you for the detailed information on the Tsunami Ready program. After leaving this office, we will start with these three steps. We are sure we will be able to implement this, as we really need to be prepared, as our community is in a tsunami-prone area. We would like to ask permission to leave now, but we will return to your institution for collaboration and support. It was a remarkable discussion, wasn't it? Our community has agreed for us to work on building the tsunami-ready capacity in our village. It is now our time to work on these 12 tsunami-ready indicators. The first indicator is for our community to have a tsunami hazard map. Hmm, whom should we discuss this with? Shall we check with the university in the city? 